Good day everyone. I will be reporting the topic, the official report of Rafael Izquierdo on the Cavite Mutiny. What is mutiny? Mutiny is a rebellion against an authority. It came from an old verb mutin, which means to revolt. Cavite Mutiny is a brief uprising of 200 Filipino troops and workers at the Cavite Arsenal, aiming to get rid of the Spanish government in the Philippines. It is also one of the most significant historical accounts in the Philippines. Now, who is Rafael Izquierdo and how is he related to Cavite Mutiny? His full name is Rafael Cayetano Izquierdo E. Gutierrez. He was born on September 30, 1820 in Santander, Spain and died on November 9, 1883 in Madrid, Spain. He was a Spanish military officer, politician, and a statesman. He served as the Governor General of the Philippines from April 4, 1871 to January 8, 1873. He was famous for the type of government he used, which is the Iron Fist. He was the Governor General during the 1872 Cavite Mutiny, which led to the execution of 41 of the mutineers, including the Gomborza. He also acted as the Governor General in Puerto Rico from March 1862 to April 1862. Governor General Rafael Izquierdo reported to the Spanish Minister of War dated in Manila on January 23, 1872. According to the text of the report, General Izquierdo implicated the native clergy who were then active towards secularization of parishes. The event of 1872 Cavite Mutiny was planned earlier and was thought of it as a big conspiracy among educated leaders, mestizos, abogadillos or native lawyers, residents of Manila and Cavite, and the native clergy. The reasons for the Cavite Mutiny were the injustice wherein the government did not pay the provinces for their tobacco crop. Then the practice of usury, the lending of money which some of the officials had practiced in order to handle documents that the Department of Finance gives the crop owners who have to sell their crops at loss. Lastly, the abolition of the privileges enjoyed by the native soldiers and laborers of the Cavite Arsenal, such as the exemption from annual tribute and forced labor. Those were believed to be an order from the Governor General Izquierdo. He added to his report that the mutineers of Manila and Cavite planned to liquidate high-ranking Spanish officers and would form a new government that will be headed by a hurry but turned out to be oppressed. And this selected priest would be Jose Borgos or Jacinto Zamora, the parish priest of San Pedro, Manila. Although they said to form a new government, it's not been cleared if they would establish a monarchy or a republic because the Indians don't have a word in their language to describe their different form of government in which the head would be called in Tagalog word, the Hari. He believes that the mutineers seduced the native troops by their superstitious beliefs, persuading them that the chief of states or Hari would be an ecclesiastic and the rest of the clergy would celebrate daily for their success, and that their rebellion would not fail because God is with them. So their plan was to set fire at the district of Tondo. Once the fire was set, the revolution would begin. But then, the district of Sampaloc celebrated the feast of the Virgin of Loreto. Unfortunately, participants to the feast celebrated the occasion with the usual fireworks displays. Allegedly, those in Cavite mistook the fireworks as the sign for the attack. And just what like did the grid upon, the 200 men contingent headed by Sergeant La Madrid launched an attack targeting Spanish officers at sight and seized the arsenal. And when the news reached Governor Izquierdo, he readily ordered the reinforcement of the Spanish forces in Cavite to end the revolt. The revolution was easily crushed when the expected reinforcement from Manila did not come ashore. Major instigators including Sergeant La Madrid were killed while the Gomborza were tried by the court and they were sentenced to be executed. They were executed in public to serve as a treat to Filipino to never attempt to fight with the Spaniards again. The revolution leads to the execution of 47 mutineers including the Gomborza. There are 11 individuals that were sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. 
11 rebels sentenced to life imprisonment and were suspended from their practice of law. Others who were implicated such as Jose Basa E. Enriquez, Joaquin Pardo de Tavera, Antonio M. Regidor, Pedro Carillo, Hervasio Sanchez, Jose Morico de Leon. They were sentenced to life imprisonment at the Marianas Island. It was declared on February 17, 1872. And even though there is someone who tipped the Spanish government about the plan of the mutineers, the governor didn't give credit to them. The governor states that he had put down those rebels without taking credit from the informants who had tipped the Spanish government of the plan of the mutineers, as he said that he was confident that he could handle the mutineers. He also said that he did command officers under him to do a vigilant watch everywhere the rebels can be possibly seen. General Izquierdo's report highlighted the attempt to overthrow the Spanish government in the Philippines to install a new Hari in the persons of Father Jose Burgos and Jacinto Zamora. It also highlighted the execution of the three priests, also known as the Gamborza. While the important detail of the Cavite mutiny is the capture of Fort San Felipe at Cavite Puerto, it is where they misinterpreted the fireworks from the Feast of Virgin of Loreto as a sign for the rebellion that leads them to attack. It all started there and everything tragic follows. The 1872 event was tragic but it served as one of the moving forces that shaped Filipino nationalism. It is the event that caused the awakening of nationalism during that time.